Hi there. Um, quick look at um, modifiers inside Studio Max as regards looking at where Lightwave could go and trying to add some sort of extra functionality into construction. So if I go and use Auto Grid, go and grab a chamfered box and make it sort of that big. There we go. And we'll go over here and we'll say, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Happy with that. Put F thingy on, make them to one, make that to make that to one and one, there we go. Everything's down to it's basically just a box. Okay, so we're gonna add some modifiers to this box. So first one we're gonna add is taper. So we're gonna add that on. And then the second one we're gonna go and add is bend. And the third one we're gonna go and add is twist. So we'll find twist, there we go, twist. So over on the right hand side we've got the original object or the um the primitive as such taper bend and twist okay so under chamfered box let's go and taper this then so let's go and taper that down all right um and then you've got this curve you can add to it so you can see the what we call the gizmo working you can see this curve but the actual geometry hasn't got enough detail to support the curve so i'm going to go back down to the chamfered box and add some detail in the height segments here so knock them up okay so now we can support the taper and actually we'll curve it the opposite way so it curves in like that or we'll taper it quite a bit okay that's quite nice the next thing I want to go and do is bend it maybe so we're going to bend it so let's turn that over and we'll say let's bend it completely over so it's 180 degrees okay and that's cool and that's all right. The, maybe the height isn't sort of long enough. Maybe it's okay, but we haven't got enough segments to support a really nice curve on that. So let's try and fix that up then. So let's go back down to where we were a minute ago. Height segments. Let's make them um, 24. So now I've got enough height segments to keep a, a pretty good looking curve. One of the things we've got at the moment is very hard edges on this. So well, we could we could do um, we could add uh, a turbo smooth on top is here and that's going to sort of curve things out. If we do it that way that sort of would work to take off that. This is that sort of result and we can make maybe two of them. That would sort of help out. We could do it that way. That's pretty cool. Or well we could do it all sorts of ways. Let's um let's move turbo smooth to the top. It still works. We've got these things happen one after another. Yeah so it's it's very much like Photoshop. So switch the turbo smooth off, little light ball, switch it off and decide that well we, it's a chamfered box we can actually add the chamfering in it so we can add those let's make a fillet segments of two three there we go make the fillet happen there we go so we do it that way so we've got alternative ways of doing this and maybe you want some more actual segments around it maybe to support it so let's make um, a couple here and a couple here Okay, and yeah, pretty cool with that. And then we say, okay, so we've got this bend which you can switch on and off. So we've got just the taper working. We could put mesh smooth on if we wanted to, which is turbo smooth. And we'll put that in ISO line display. There we go. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like that. And switch that to normal. Okay, we can go back to chamfered box and we'll take the fillet down to zero. And back up to turbo smooth. Pretty cool. Right, so what we can also do is add a twist. So let's twist it and we'll twist it around like so. Okay, so we've got a twist working there. The thing I want to go and do now is let's go and add this fillet back in because we can sort of add a nice there we go softens it right up there we go we don't think we actually need turbo smooth that much okay so that's pretty cool it's quite nice and then we can add the bend ah it doesn't quite work does it it doesn't bend in the right place so what we've got we've got a taper a bend and a twist so actually what we do want is a taper a twist and a bend so let's move, move the twist below the bend okay so now we get this working and we've got this really cool sort of crazy horn look to it and then we can add the turbo smooth on top and that just 
sorts it all out. Yeah, and that gives us a really nice model we've just gone and built there. And of course, we can sort of animate this as well. So we'll say Auto Key. We'll go to frame 30. We'll go to the Bend modifier. We'll make that zero. Okay, and then we'll go to 60. We'll make it 180 again. And go to 80. I'm just going to go and change the direction. Let's sort of. Uh, we'll just go and say. Uh, up and down it, we'll say 0, so it shouldn't move, OK, and then we'll just to 100, we'll just change the direction, just bring it around to the front, here, so it's uh, 90, 90, and we'll change the angle, so it's sort of there, OK, what we've got now is a crazy horn thing, and we can even change this so that the chamfer box uh, height changes over time, so we're going to say um, goes all the way down to here. Let's make it um, 50, then it grows to 100. Okay, and it grows over to here, and then to there. We're going to make you. 75 and here 125. Okay, so crazy stuff, isn't it? Simple as that. And then, last of all, we can um, do some crazy stuff within this as well. Switch auto key off and we'll switch uh, bend off for the minute and we'll switch turbo smooth off. And we'll say, well, above twist, let's go and add another modifier. Let's go and add an FFD lattice. Okay, well, we're on time wise. We're cool. All right, so let's um, let's do this then. So under that, we can go open that up. Control points, Auto key. Um, let's go to front view. Select these guys. And we're going to leave that there. And then as it goes up to there, we're saying that well, these guys here, I'm just going to go and expand them out so we get this sort of look. And we're going to compress them down. Okay, so we get that. Okay, and then we're going to go back to here. Get these guys, and we're sort of going to go and say, yeah, okay, fair enough. And then we're going to go select these guys and make them really bulbous, like so. And then there, we're going to make them back to where we were in the beginning, which is about here. Same with them. Okay, and we might even sort of move them down a bit. Okay, and we're cool with that. Let's switch off auto key. You can turn the bend back on again. Go back to perspective mode. And go back in here, turn turbo smooth back on again. So now we've got this wacky thing that sort of grows and does all sort of strange and weird things. Don't know what it is, but hey, it's a bit of fun. So that sort of shows you stuff. Simple as that. And uh, catch you another time.